The two other things that we pick up on our data that are, uh, sometime, that are sometimes are very powerful indicators of whether someone's an internet user, so this is just about internet users, and broadband at home, those with disabilities are statistically significantly less likely to be internet users than not. Uh, these are relatively old data, 2010, but it, it persists in, in our data today. Uh, and it's, it's uh, partly a story about income and it's partly a story about the, the higher cost of access maybe for some people who need devices to retool to make them usable uh, to them. And it's partly a struggle about, you know, are these, are these digital tools really, um, useful to, to, and, and, and usable for, for people in those categories. And as I, I say, uh, when we, we do our surveys in Spanish, when we call you on the phone in a Pew survey, we ask you which language you prefer. And if you prefer to take it in Spanish, um, you are less likely to be an internet and a broadband user um, than if you are taking the survey in English, if you're Hispanic taking the survey in English. So there's something about language comfort, language proficiency, and, and being in an English dominant culture that also sort of plays out uh, in these data. 